Number one for New Country, 98.1 KHAK. It's Brayden Cortland being joined in studio this morning by my neighbor. Now, I, I mean, my neighbor's... <laughs> That's not are, all she is. <laughs> no, I know it's not. Uh, but she's here for a very special reason. And uh, Dawn Bailey, thanks for coming in today, by the way. Thanks for having me. You're very welcome. Uh, Dawn is an author, a published author. And and I didn't know this about you. You've, we've lived down, you've lived down the street for us for how many years now? Almost six. Yeah. Six and a half. And you have been working on this book a lot longer than that, which we'll talk about here, but it has been published. It's in bookstores. It's on the internet. You're, you're, it's a big deal. And I have my own copy. Look at that. <laughs> Corlin has it right there. Uh, this has been like a huge journey for you, and it has to be amazing to see everything kind of come together here. Yeah, it um, basically has been a lifelong journey. Mm -hmm. Um, About 15 years ago, I started writing this book, same title, same premise, but felt it wasn't time. So I kind of scrapped it, um, started rewriting it about three years ago, Okay. and then submitted it to a publisher in September, this past September, and they grabbed it and took it. And it's just been, I've not even expected it to get this far. And the response I've had so far from it has been great. just people are, are needing to hear things that are in that book. And it's just been an honor to be able to have the strength and to know the people are behind me on it. So. Yeah. What exactly is the book about? The book is about a journey of a young lady who um, overcomes trauma, um, overcomes life situations, father loss. And um, it's based on my, my, my life, but I've had such a the blessing to meet people along the way who I've kind of formed their stories in with mine and made one character based off of the pain and the struggles that I've seen people go through. Mm-hmm. Um, so hopefully it touches people differently, may not touch them the same way as, as you might read it or someone else might read it, but something in there may trigger some hope for somebody that needs to have it in their life. And that's the bottom line, like you said, is you want to you wanna bring hope to people's lives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. By, uh, by showing them what you went through and, and, and what you've been able to overcome. And uh, this book is available right now uh, at the big places that you can go to get books, Amazon and Barnes & Noble, right? Yeah, Barnes & Noble actually ordered um, quite a few in, in the store. <laughs> I have not had the um, courage to walk through their, their shelves yet to see it. No? <laughs> uh, no, um, I'm, I'm just in awe of everything about it and just very thankful yeah, what's it like to hold a book in your hand that's been published and it's yours? Um, well, I have a, a copy on my nightstand, and I just walk by it every now and again and, mm-hmm. and look down at it. I have not even picked it up and read it front to back because <laughs> it's been um, in the in the work so long. Sure. But I did read the last paragraph the other night, and I'm like, I wrote that. And I just, um, it's just surreal. That's crazy. Honestly, yeah. Uh, there's a couple of events. Uh, if you if you if you don't know Don, if you want to meet Don, learn more about the book. There are a couple of events coming up that we want to get the word out about. Uh, the first one's coming up on April 29th, and that's going to be at Louis Scoreboard in Marion, beginning at six. And what's that? Is that kind of like a, a coming out kind of a hey, come meet the author, check out the book thing, right? Yeah, exactly. And it's just informal. Um, mm-hmm. You can come by, take a look at the book. I have we'll have copies there. Just come say hi um, and just. Support the cause, not really me, just support what the book is um, intended to do. Uh, when I wrote it, I, I, the, the words flowed. It wasn't anything that I was trying to do. So I'd rather recognize what's in the book rather than me. So if you have anybody in your life that would benefit from the story, just come by and say hi, and I'll have copies there and be really, really thankful to meet you. And then uh, coming up on May 13th, you actually have an official book signing at the Barnes & Noble here in Cedar Rapids. Yes, from so, 11 to 1. So once you have the book, you can come get it signed by the author. <laughs> That's pretty cool, yeah. having a book signing. I know, it's kind, of a, it's kind of a big deal, Dawn. You, never, you don't like to admit any of this is like no. kind of a big deal, but that's kind of a big deal. It, it is kind of a big deal, and um, like I said, I'm just really thankful to, to have accomplished this. <laughs> yeah, so. it's a big deal. Uh, yeah. uh, the title of the book, by the way, uh, once again, for people who who don't know, and, and Cortland can hold it up, it's called The Fear of Being Seen, and uh, Don Bailey, the author, and my neighbor. So I, I, I don't have to walk too far to get a book signed. Yeah. But <laughs> No, you're so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> once again, April 29th at uh, Louis Scoreboard in Marion, beginning at 6, and then May 13th. And you're going to have a website yeah, uh, that's going to be coming up live, right? Correct, yeah. And it'll be thefearofbeingseenbook.com. Okay. So I'm hoping that'll be up and running um, soon. Okay. 
Uh, and once that is, we'll have the link up at our website as well for people who want to check out more about Don and the book. Don, thanks for coming in Thank today. Thank you guys so much. And uh, talking about the book, and it's an amazing thing uh, to be a published author. So congratulations. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.